Hey guys, Acres HD here. Uh, oh jeez, Project 40, forgot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, guys, Jelta's here, and uh, I got a tutorial with uh, ripples and the uh, water effect. Uh, as you can see, got an emitter here, and got a little raindrops. And if you see, there's nothing happening, but this only works in picture view. So, see, that's the effect that you can get right here. These these ripples. Uh, when the water or any object comes down, you c you don't have to do this on a plane like I did. You could do this on other things as well. So let's just make a new thing. All right. So first, let's start off by making a plane, and it's really all up to you. But I'm just gonna change the segments to 60 by 60, and I'll just double this up. Oh, I always do that. So now it's a little bigger. Uh, we'll worry about the segments later if you want to get a more precise ripple. Alright, so, and then just hit C on your keyboard to change it to an edible polygon. And let's just turn it off right now because I don't want to see this. Alright, now let's go and make a sphere. And let's just do something here. A little bit of uh, tapering, actually. That's where it was. Um, just put taper under. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the droplets. So, put the taper, let's put the unlimited, and let's change this. Let's just crank this up to, I guess that's pretty good. And hit fill it. So now, it just makes the curves, you know, like, smoother. And it looks more like a droplet, as you can see. So, after that, let's go into functions and current state to an object. So, basically, this is like connecting and deleting, but when you have stuff added like this, it won't work connecting and deleting it, so there we go. And you can delete this. Now you got this one object and let's just scale it up until you get I feel like it's a water droplet. <laughs> and don't worry about it. If you see like the polygon is ugh, you know, it looks disordering. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, just leave it like that. Because you're obviously not going to see a water droplet this close. Unless you want to, of course. But Yeah. And let's just scale it down now. To a really, really small size. Like, maybe around, I guess, there. Water droplets aren't that big, guys. <laughs> and let's just move this up so you can actually see it. And let's turn the plane on. Alright, now that we've got both things done, let's go ahead and make an emitter. And what we're going to do is we're going to emit and make it like rain, you know, make it rain. Uh, under the P, change to 90, hit apply, and there you go. Now you got it facing down. And then what we could do is we could change how big the emitter should be. So let's just scale this up. And you don't want to make it bigger than the plane or maybe the same size because when, let's say, a droplet comes from this corner, you want the ripple to take the whole plane. You know, it's not. You don't want the ripple to happen over here, start over here, and then just run off, and you don't get the full ripple effect. So let's keep it around there, and let's change. Let's uh, it, it, this is all up to you. I, I'll change it higher, maybe 50 by 50. You'll get a lot of water droplets, uh, and also I think that's about it. And oh yeah, show objects. So when we drag the sphere under the emitter, you can show it. You can see the objects. There you go. Let's just pull this up a little bit. Alright, that's good. Very good, very good, very good. Alright. So now, uh, we're going to have to deal with some displacement under the plane. So let's just go ahead and make new material. And this this will give you the ref ripple effect. Uh, let's just drag it on. And what you want to do, you want to check reflection just to... Make it make it nice. You don't even have to do that, to be honest. But if you're gonna change it to water later, then you could do that. But anyways, um, and go to displacement. Bam. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click texture right here. Go to effects and go to ripple. And just select ripple. And we're gonna do some tweaking here. Um, this depends all up to you, but I'll just keep it around. Let's say 35, that's good enough. Um, this, remember, this is all debatable. 
on this is you know just however you like it three periods and yeah so basically we're almost done here uh or just want to drag the emitter over there so let's just open this up again drag the emitter as the particles and drag the plane as the object see you don't have to make it as a plane you could even make it as a cube you can make it as other things uh it's just that what this does, you know, it just asks what object and what emitter. So you have to you have to do that. That's really important for it to work. And what should happen is, if you render it, you should get the ripple effects. And let's just bring this up to a higher, higher quality so you could have a better view. All right, let's just render the picture view. I have to keep going to the other screen. And there you go, you got the ripple, ripple, the ripple effects. And, you know, this is this is the edible polygon, so if you want more polygons, just to make it a little more crisp and uh, a little more, uh, what should I say, precise, just go over here and subdivide. And if you put up to two, maybe one, actually one's, one's plenty enough, you could already see the difference you can see that it's a lot more precise and it's a lot darker so if you have water or something like that you know this 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 would be good a great effect for you guys to try out and you know make maybe even make a scene out of it so yep thanks for watching and hope to see you guys next tutorial peace